Hello, and welcome to Go Standard Library Solutions, a course that's designed to quickly get you up to speed and productive with the Go Programming Languages Standard Library. My name is Johnny Borsico, and I will be your guide on this journey. I'm a software and operations engineer with two plus decades of industry experience, spanning a wide variety of technologies across a number of companies ranging from startups to large enterprises. I'm an active member of the Go community. I've ran the Boston Go user group, founded and continue to run the Baltimore Go user group, and as a core member of GoBridge, I actively work to make the Go community a diverse and inclusive one. You can feel free to pay me on Twitter. The style of this course is very code driven. You'll seldom see slides explaining the theory as I often opt to walk you through code instead. Our focus will be on the packages that allow us to become productive with Go right away. In section one, we'll cover working with the font package for output formatting and input scanning, using the strings in bytes packages, converting to and from strings with the strconf package, and working with regular expressions with the regexp package. In section two, we'll get comfortable with the Go toolchain. We'll learn how to interact with our program's environment with the OS and flag packages. We'll perform some file directory manipulations, and we'll learn some best practices around error handling. In section three, we'll get to know the math package, work with the pervasive time package, do some archiving with the archive package, and have a little bit of visual fun with the image package. Section four will be all about building servers with the NetHttp package. We'll write middleware, build robust HTTP clients, and use the context package for value and cancellation propagation. Section five will tie a lot of concepts together by showing how the encoding package works, how to build a RESTful JSON API that leverages the encoding JSON package, how to store and retrieve data from a SQL database using the database SQL package, and lastly, how to test our API using the testing package. The last section will help you learn how to use the concurrency model that Go is so well known for. You'll learn how to use Go routines, what channels are and how to leverage them in your code, how to synchronize access to shared resources, and some patterns you can leverage in your own code to build incredibly concurrent programs. You will get the most value out of this course if you already know a little bit of Go. I won't spend a lot of time explaining basic language syntax. The online Go tour already does an excellent job of that if you need a refresher. Some experience with other programming languages is helpful, but not absolutely necessary. Go 1.8 is what I've used to record this course, and I'll assume you have at least that version installed. As far as editors go, you can use whatever you want. If it has Go support and can automatically do some imports and code formatting for you, that's even better. Personally, I use VS Code, but again, use whichever editor you're comfortable with. Throughout the course, you'll see me reference the Go documentation constantly. It can be tempting to Google for answers and find yourself on Stack Overflow copying and pasting code. And although there's a time for that, I encourage you to get to know the Go documentation as it will help you master not only the standard library, but the language itself. Lastly, you'll need access to a terminal. You'll need to be able to use the Go build tools from the command line. Note that in my case, I have a terminal built into my editor. So you won't see me switch back and forth a lot so that I can keep the code that I'm talking about in view while I build and run it. Before we start, allow me to impart a piece of advice. To really master the topics we go over, you'll need to practice, practice, practice. It's tempting to just watch the videos, not try out the examples yourself and think you've got it covered. That can be a false sense of mastery. So do the work and I promise you you'll have a better chance of mastering Go. Thank you for choosing this course. Let's get started.